representative from the European Investment Bank, Mr. Hoyer. Chairman, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very grateful to the hosts of this conference to give me the opportunity to present what the European Investment Bank, the EU Bank, can do and is doing in and for the region. The EU Bank is the international financial institution with the strongest engagement in Turkey and the Middle East and North Africa. The overall exposure in Turkey and MENA uh, runs up to almost 35 billion euros. There will be not only a short-term need for humanitarian assistance, and after the shock of the stalemate in the conference in, in Geneva, today it was good news to hear the pledges for humanitarian assistance, which will come immediately to the people in the neighborhood of Syria and hopefully to Syria itself. But beyond the day, we also have to think about financing the future and financing the necessities to bring employment, jobs, economic perspectives to the people of Syria, whether they can stay at home or whether they are living in the neighborhood. There will be a long-term need for international financial institutions to, support, to contribute to supporting economic resilience, development and job creation in host countries, and to addressing the root causes of migration. The women, the men and the children in the regions that are leaving their homes today need to be given new hope. We must be ambitious. We all need to step up our activities and to act in concert to address the current situation. The EIB, as the EU Bank, intends to contribute and add its part to the EU's collective action in three ways. First, we will continue to support economic development and job creation in the region covering Turkey and the Middle East and also North Africa. Our planned lending activity over the next five years in this region is expected to exceed 15 billion euros. This lending includes support for municipal and social infrastructure, including schools and water supply, private sector developments, microfinance to provide jobs for young people, microenterprises, education and hospitals. Second, the EU Bank could increase this activity by an additional 3 billion euro over the next five years without receiving additional resources if our shareholders allow us to do so. This extraordinary effort would build on our experience and use existing EU bank instruments and tools, which basically means to make an extra effort to attract private capital in order to solve the needs in the region. We are already developing with the United Kingdom a facility for technical assistance, which aims to speed up project implementation on the ground. I invite the donor community to join forces on our initiatives, leaning on proven instruments deployed by the EU Bank. Third, the EU Bank could go even further to increase our activity in the region given certain conditions. In the EU Bank, if the EU Bank would access significant amounts of third-party funding for blending into concessional loans and also to provide technical assistance, I would be able to propose to our shareholders to increase our activity by 8 billion euros, an increase of more than 50 percent, bringing the volume of EU bank financing to the region to 23 billion euros between now and 2020. And after what I've heard from the heads of state and government of the EU member states today already, I'm optimistic that we'll be able to deliver. But to realize this potential, we need your help. We are the largest multilateral bank active in the region. We have good contacts on the ground. We have the experience and expertise to do blending of loans and grants and achieve leverage. We have an existing structure in place to make this happen now. With your support and in partnership with all of you, and in particular with our colleagues from the other international financial institutions and multilateral development banks, we can and must do more to bring to the people of the region stability and prosperity and above all, hope. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Hoyer. Thank you very much.